Hey, how you doing? David here for Yojimbo Security Ninja and Kensei Musashi on YouTube. I uh, just wanted to show you a little bit of tensioning techniques. So I have a master lock number 40. One of the pucks. I hope I got a hockey puck. Now this is a homemade wrench that I got. It's been used and abused. It's kind of fat. You can see it's had some torque applied to it. So we're going to give this a shot. And I'm going to show you what to do with a standard pin lock. This has no security pins. Security pins are spool pins or serrated pins. And this has nothing. Nice and easy. So since it is nice and easy, I'm going to apply a lot of tension on here. Actually, I've been having problems doing it that way. So I'm going to hold it upside down with my thumbs and apply a lot of tension. I got a pick that I made. If you can kind of see that. It's more of a, a nice point on it. So since I'm putting so much tension in there, if I have a standard pick, see that where it's rounded? I can't quite get under there, under the pins, and lift it up. So I use that nice uh, point. Again, a lot of tension. See how much I'm flexing that? I mean, you saw my tension wrench. I'm putting a lot of tension on there. I'm only getting there. I don't know if you can kind of hear it. I set it. Come in here. And the way I normally okay, I'll start it. Holding it again. A lot of tension. And I'm going to start the first pin and try to work my way back. Here you're popping. Might be difficult over the rain. Scraping. There we go. Pop. Opened up. Not too hard. A lot of torque. A lot of tension on there. Let's try it again. A lot of pressure. Can you hear it? go. So that's the standard, no security pins, really easy. But now we have the master lock number 570, this beautiful lock. I absolutely love it. If you're going for security, don't believe the, the hype that it says. It is not max pick resistant. I'll show you why. So I have a different tension wrench, by the way. I kind of want to show that out. This is a thinner tension wrench. I don't know if you can really see the difference, but first of all the keys, that little groove right there, is different. And it's thinner. So we use the thinner wrench. Pop that in there. Just kind of hold it a little bit with my uh, ring finger. Now I don't want to use too much tension, I just kind of want to feel it. Do the same thing, we kind of start at the front, work our way back. Now on this one I know that number 4 and number 5 are security pins. So sometimes it's easier to get those set first. Kind of get them in a place. Sometimes it's easier to do your standard pins first. Whatever your preference is, I'm just showing you my technique. Don't be afraid to try your own, please. Um, I'm not a master. I'm not the greatest lock picker there is. You know, if you try something new, you might learn an awesome technique. Share it on YouTube, and I'll learn something. You know, that's what this is about. This is a community, helping others out, teaching each other. Let's keep giving this a try. If you can keep hearing that in there. So since this is a security lock, sometimes you see me doing that. I'm just trying to reset all the pens, get them to fall back. Almost. Got it somewhere in this area. 
So you see again, since this is the security, I'm kind of trying to... There we go. So one of the things that you kind of saw me doing is that I still want to apply tension, but I have too much tension. So what do you do when, you, when you're in that situation? You know, um, sometimes I kind of get my other finger around there and I kind of try to apply equal and opposite tension, you know what I mean? Because if you do too much, you lose all your, your sets and everything drops, and that's a bummer, you gotta start all over again. So, you know, give it a try. If you have security, ten, uh, security pens, sorry, light pressure, standard pens, as much as you want, you know, give it a try. Um, try it, see what works for you. Again, stay safe, stay legal. Pick your own locks. No B and E's, guys. You know, don't get in trouble. Don't do stupid shit. And have fun. That's the most important.